<clears throat> Hi, Matthew Dowling here to talk to you about The Park Killer. The Park Killer was a student film that I did for film school at the end of my first semester. The teacher gave us an assignment. I want to give a quick shout out here to uh, Felix Galindo. Anyway, the teacher gave us an assignment and it was a list of shots that we had to do. All we had to do was the shots, but I decided to go the extra mile and actually try to do a film with a beginning, middle, and end. Tip Evans is the killer there. And uh, what I did here was try to play around with the music and set the tone and the pace with the editing, all that good stuff. Scott Milliken playing our hero. Shout out to my boys. So what happened was I did a movie first called The Garage Killer, which was underexposed, didn't come out very well. So these guys showed up and we went out to the park and we shot this in about two hours, just kind of winging it. Now, there's a lot to be said for winging it. We um, did this, uh, had to edit it, shot this on Super 8, where you crank it back and forth using your eye. Not as easy as it sounds. And through the modern beauty of technology, you're able to see this, well, on digital format, maybe on YouTube. Who knows? There's a cool angle right there. Love this shot. Um, yeah, everybody did their own stunts on this, and everybody got hurt at one point or another. I believe Scott got hurt right here, sliding, hurt his hand, and Tip jumping over the gate right here like he does. I think he hurt his, uh, his leg there, something, one of the takes. Anyway, so what happened was I got the assignment in two weeks late, and uh, the teacher wound up passing me with an A. Which is cool because he said that for every week it was late, he was going to drop it one letter grade. So it should have been at best a C. I guess he liked the film. And then what you do in film school is you play your chase film in front of the class and everybody kind of gets to see everybody's work. This one had a pretty mixed response. Um, I think people more or less enjoyed it. They got the humor in it. Not for everybody, but it was funny. Now props, talk about that real quick. That's a cardboard tube for... Christmas wrapping paper. Had it in my car. Figured why not. Had the gloves in my car. Thought it would be a great way to hide the uh, cardboard tubing. And uh, here we go. This was fun. We got <laughs> we got Hershey's chocolate syrup. Now, I'm kind of a fan of gore if it's like over-the-top, cartoony, campy gore, which I think this is. And uh, hopefully we hit the right tone with this. Here we see Scott driving off there with the arm. And uh, now the juxtaposition is you're supposed to kind of feel bad for the guy here, the killer. And that brings us to my favorite part of the film, the end credits, which arguably is probably better than the film. I like picture credits and using those because I have a strong theater background as an actor. And at the end of your play, when you're doing a theater, you come out and you do your curtain call where you take a bow with the audience. Now in film you can't obviously do that, but with the picture credits you can kind of break character, break the fourth wall, see kind of everybody's personality. It's kind of fun. Anyway, uh, The Park Killer. This is Matthew Dowling, the writer-director. That's me right there. Thank you for listening to this, and I hope to do this again sometime soon. Talk to you guys later. Bye.